here today at one of the ICE outstanding civil engineering projects of the last 200 years, uh, a building that was once called the Post Office Tower. It's more commonly known now today as the BT Tower. Back in 1964 when this was built, this was the tallest building in the whole of the UK for 16 years until the, the NatWest building stole that title in 1980. Before this tower was built, um, the main form of communication was through a physical copper cable. So all of our telephone calls, all of the TV signals that we needed um, was through a physical cable that had to be run all over the country. But in the 1950s and 60s, microwaves were a new form of technology to make this communication wireless. The problem with this new microwave technology though was that the instruments that were required to transmit and receive those signals had to be high up above the skyline. Um, where they needed an unobstructed view across the city. And that's where civil engineers came in and uh, designed and constructed this tall building, 177 metres above the ground, so that those instruments had a clear view above the city. And we were able to then make uh, over 150,000 phone calls simultaneously once this building was built. As I mentioned earlier, this is the tallest building that had ever been built in Britain. One key issue was that the instruments that were going to be put on top of the tower were very sensitive. And uh, to overcome this, uh, the engineers designed and constructed the building in a very narrow cylinder uh, shape, so it wouldn't sway in the wind as much. Now on top of that, uh, engineers designed a concrete collar connected into the building, 25 meters above the ground. Uh, and this helped provide even more stiffness and uh, rigidity. Another key engineering challenge was the ground. Most of the ground in London is made up of London clay, uh, which is great for tunnelling, which is why we have our expansive London underground network, but it's not so great for to uh, constructing tall buildings. Uh, that's because uh, the ground clay, specifically, um, expands and contracts uh, depending on the water content. So tall buildings become slightly unstable potentially if they're not designed correctly and that's the job of the civil engineers. So the, the civil engineers uh, for the BT Tower designed a, sp a specially reinforced concrete pyramid at the very bottom of the tower to distribute the loads into that clay uh, and made it very stable. Not only was the, the height and the shape of the BT Tower um, iconic, where we are standing here today, the 34th floor uh, was designed and built as a revolving restaurant at the time. And this restaurant was a state-of-the-art um, feat of engineering. And not only that, but it also boosted London's um, reputation, uh, the attractiveness to the city uh, for tourism. This is a place where you could eat your duck confit 34 storeys up above the ground with a 360 degree view of the London skyline. Unfortunately, due to the uh, bomb attack in the restaurant in 1971, uh, and the ongoing terrorist risk uh, throughout that decade, the, the tower itself was actually closed to the public and the restaurant was decommissioned. Another role that the BT Tower uh, has today is uh, to measure and monitor the current poor air quality in London. Engineers are responsible for interpreting the data and finding out exactly what is causing the poor air quality in London and it's, it's their job to come up with solutions to fix that. Engineering is about identifying a need um, or an opportunity to add benefit to society. It's about finding the best solution for that problem uh, or opportunity and making sure that uh, construction projects are managed effectively um, so that what's been designed can be constructed safely and to the right quality. Engineering is also about maintaining the infrastructure that we have already and maximising the amount of time that it can add value to society. Civil engineering is one of the most rewarding careers there is. For the minuscule amount of time that we're all on the planet, I believe that civil engineers uh, have the best opportunities to make a real positive difference in society and to make our day-to-day -day activities um, even easier. Such as revolutionising the way that we've communicated through this very tower or uh, the way that we get around from day to day through our transport systems. So at the crux of it, civil engineers provide self-fulfillment and self-actualization for everyone on the planet and that is very fulfilling for me.